So, the Premier League and the Carabao Cup are already in the bag. Can we make another? We're off to Wembley. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes as you can see here we knew yes that um, we've won the Carabao Cup we knew that we know if you watched the last episode that we managed to win um, the obviously the Premier League yes we did and, and we ended up beating um, Crystal Palace in the final game anyway like just to just to like you know, that was a foregone conclusion, realistically. Even though I put out like a very weakened side in that game, we still ended up winning that one. But yeah, today is all about the FA Cup and then the next episode in a week's time, not in real life, but in the game a week's time. Yes, it's going to be then the Carabao, not the Carabao, <laughs> that's done. The Champions League final, I should say. And we're not going to be travelling too far because it's at Old Trafford. So keeping everything in England, we're not having to like get the passports out or anything like that. So there we are. Cup finals, it can go either way. Do you know what I mean? Form can go out the window, all sorts of things. We're hoping that our confidence from winning the Premier League and stuff will just flow into this one but who knows like you know i mean arsenal might just feel that they, they deserve something from the season and the third place is not what they want they want something more than that let's find out how it all pans out shall we so these are the two teams that are lined up for this one in the fa cup final we have got rodolfo in goal yes he has been the domestic cup goalkeeper in both competitions so he is going to remain in goal for the final we've got cruz arifi upamakano and piano our strongest back four we've got drea and dzwowski in the midfield we've got appleby is the cam we've got Apple, uh, we've got carl warner on the left diaz on the right for scoggin up top it is pretty much i would say our strongest line up but there are a couple of other players that could you know like as in like someone like Chai Lawrence that, that's there they got we've got Neto we've got Ollie Clay you know we've got players there that obviously Timo Horn but we've got players there that um are, are, are equal um or if not like slightly better but you know what I mean I just feel that this is the side that is going to be best equipped to take on Arsenal for Arsenal yeah they've got um Krabara, who's who's was at Chelsea after moving from Liverpool um, but now he's at Arsenal so he's in goal Kieran Tierney's there they've got Saliba indeed he playing it right back that's a interesting one the, the Leicester in real life player um, and Didi playing it right back Romagnoli they got in there they've got James Madison um, Chiesa Saka's there yeah it's just looking on the bench Leno's on the bench you've got Dembele uh, so Wembley waits um, is it going to be a trouble domestic trouble that's the thing or are Arsenal going to um, grab themselves a trophy let's find out so Arsenal here building from the back and we're, we're putting a, a bit of pressure on them there, like, you know what I mean, to, to play this out from the back. But they've done well so far, but then Ndidi being caught out by Carl Warner, but Warner does go down the box, but it was a good challenge there from Saliba as well. Had to be, um, otherwise that was an early penalty. Petrich now plays this one over here to Saka, plays it back to Rowan Yoli. Going back, we're forcing them, we're forcing them, we're, we're, we're playing some good pressure on them now and we're forcing them hopefully into making an error or a mistake as um, we managed to pick it up here and, and Warner is surging forward again. He's going to, they're going to be a bit worried about like taking him out and it's Diaz and it is a great start from us. They were worried, they took Warner down initially, well not, they didn't take him down but he, obviously there was a good challenge and then he went down the box and I think they were a little bit dubious about challenging him again as he came forward here but it looks like Ndidi is, is going to be causing Arsenal a few issues being playing him at right back he's not a natural right back player and um, obviously plays in midfield you know for Leicester and stuff as more as a sort of a DM as he? like and um yeah playing him at right back is obviously like um Arsenal maybe got like an injury problems I think it's, it's a bit strange that he would be playing there but um that's what they decided as Cruz puts this one in chance maybe again but not going to happen as it comes back to Cruz and maybe going to go himself but now he finds Warner comes to Arifi now plays it back into Warner a little bit hard like, you know maybe he controlled it well enough it's come here to Piano plays this one across can't get there initially trying to get this one again Diaz is on this one again but not able to get there there's good pressure from us early on but they managed to like pull this one and get this one away but Sikan's up on his own and luckily for, for Arsenal he's managed to like force a, um, a free kick corner now played in Again, Upamakano is trying to get there. Chance here. Dzwowski gets there and it's two. And we are li literally just, yeah, we are just playing like Arsenal off the park in these early stages um, at the moment. They are under a lot of pressure. They can't like seem to handle it. And um, we are definitely looks like we're up for it. I mean, obviously, players have had a chance to have a rest and stuff as well. So we're back to like, you know, pretty much strong fitness wise. And a great strike there from Dzwowski as um, he makes it 2-0. 
So Ndidi now playing it down this line, finds Chiesa. Chiesa trying to like challenge, get the pass, but Drea gets a good challenge in. Drea now finds Carl Warner. A lot, a lot going through him so far um, in this game as Dzworski now tries to play this out. As Goggins actually like, nipped out onto his left hand side. Warner's gone into the middle, and again, they're, they're lucky with their challenges in that box. Chiesa's now being pushed all the way back there. What is he doing that far back is, is mad. But. Um, Giving him a chance here as um, Sikan has got in here. It's a great opportunity. Rodolfo has got down well and stopped that one. And it was actually an offside anyway. Cruz now in with this free kick and a chance. Oof. What a good save. I think it was. No, it was actually been flagged for offside. But I think it was still a, a good save from Gravar in goal. Um, from Diaz coming in that far stick. But it is 2-0 at half time. We are in control this game. Not necessarily with possession wise. Arsenal controlling more of the possession. But we're doing much more when we've got it. And we're, we're damaging our, um, Arsenal. I'm sure they'll get a, a stern talking to by um, Arteta. Who is the manager. And and yeah, I'm sure they'll get a stern talking to at half time. So we've got to be a little bit wary that we don't like things. That we've already got this one we've still got 45 minutes to go and they could have quite easily come out and cause an upset here by like you know making this a 3-2 game and we don't want that so we need to be like you know keeping our heads about us so into the second half now as Saliba pushes out from the back for Arsenal and still coming and we're just letting them like you know have the ball at the moment and Chiesa has got in behind here and like I say there's a chance for Arsenal but I'll head it over there by Sikan played inside finds James Madison now Here's Saka going to push down this side. Arsenal definitely playing a lot better than what they did in the first half. And, and we're not pressuring as much. And they are in with Dembele. Well, I did say that he'd only, come, he'd only just recently come on. And Arsenal are back in this game now. And it's the thing that I wanted us to not like do is like you know let like a little bit of complacency get in. Cruz went in with the initial challenge there. But he should have stayed on his feet rather than like sliding in because he got himself out of position. Which gave Saka the opportunity to then cross with, like, you know, with time. There was no pressure on him and he could pick out Dembele and, and Arsenal back in this at 2-1. Need to get a challenge in, not just like diving in like we're doing there as Warner like initially gets there, cleared away, but it's come straight back at, at us now as Arsenal are applying more of the pressure now. They can obviously, like, you know, the tails are up and as Ndidi now is playing a lot better and there it is, yeah, Saka has made it 2-2. I could just I sense that something was going to like change. Um, they had to, like Arsenal played poorly in that first half and um, it's not that we're playing poorly in the second half, it's just that Arsenal has suddenly woken up and um, Didi's actually having a better game than what he did in that first half and is now being more of an attacking threat um, than, than actually being in defence. And Saka has just sneaked in uh, and um, yeah, we got caught out. Piana over this one, plays it into the box, chance for open Meccano, and again he's been denied, and Vescoggin's there, um, it was bouncing around in there, and he has managed to get this one in, and I was wondering whether it was going to be offside or not, but Vescoggin was in the right place, <laughs> Hooper Meccano again, denied, I mean he comes in there, and it just bounces about, and then, yeah, the Arsenal player's not entirely sure where it was, Vescoggin did know where it was, and we are back in the lead. So Arsenal have to come back again and there's maybe a chance for them to do so as Ndidi plays it here to Dominguez. Trying to look at it. We're pressing him again, which is good. The players have realised that we, we can't like let up. Ndidi now finds Dominguez. Chiesa now surging forward down this like this um, right-hand side for Arsenal and played into the box and a chance and they've managed to get it in and Dembele's there and he's made all the difference since coming on and they should if they started with him we'd have been in a lot more problems but yeah this is like a thrilling final for the for the neutrals most definitely and um yeah Chiesa there should have been stopped it's come to Ndidi we've just like eased off on him allowing him to like cross the ball yet again Arifi's trying to get there but Dembele reacted much much better than what Arifi did and um, yeah it's it's three goals to three now so we're going to make a couple of changes here um, and it's Diaz and Piana are going to make way. Both of them are on a yellow card, so that's why I've took them off. Ollie Clay going to come in for Piana, and Charlie Lawrence is going to come in for Diaz. And we've got just over five minutes or so left to go, and um, this could be heading towards sort of extra time penalties at this rate. But hopefully, we can maybe just get one more attack before the end of the um, obviously the game. So Rodolfo clears it out, but it only goes straight to an Arsenal player. That is not good. And it's Arsenal that could probably like, you know, like steal this like in, in the dying moments. As Saka gets in and Rodolfo gets something on it and then Oli Clay clears it out for a throw in. 
We are heading into extra time. So from a very convincing very f first half of us being in control of this game at 2-0, um, everything changed. Arsenal obviously got a bit of a, a talking to. And they came out and they made like um, obviously the changes with like Dembele who's made all the difference. He's come on and made a massive difference to, to Arsenal. And um, yeah, it's 3 all going into extra time. Um, how is this going to end up? Let's find out. So I'm just going to make a, another change as well. I'm like going to take Dreyer off um, uh, basically because he's like he's looking nervous. I mean, you don't want a captain that's looking nervous. So we're going to bring uh, Martin Neto on. And I'm not sure if I, if I can make a fourth change. I don't know if that's allowed in the FA Cup. Let's find out. Yes, you can. So Ollie Watkins, I'm going to bring on in place of Appleby because he's also looking nervous as well. Uh, then I'm maybe thinking maybe a Reefy because he's at centre back. Uh, yeah, actually change that. Bring Dancer on because he's on a yellow card. Arifi, don't want him getting sent off. We'll keep it like that. That's what we'll do. So Rodolfo plays this one out, finds Kyle Warner. Here is Appleby, who decided, decided to keep on. Tried to find late Lawrence there, but not able to do so. Herrero now plays it down the line. Um, Cruz is going to get there. Just knocks it inside to Danso. Back to Rodolfo. Played out here to Ufamakano. Just playing things around like... Sort of like, you know, calmly from the back as Carl Warner now finds a bit of acceleration, pushes inside. Still going, but maybe tries to do a little bit too much. But Neto, who's got fresh legs, picks that one up. Ollie Clay now curts this one into the ch into the box and Verskoggen's in. It's a great play ball in from Ollie Clay. Verskoggen gets his second of the game. And um, yeah, we're, we're kind of like capitalising on, on Didi at that right back in position for Arsenal as he was pushed inside here. Um, Neto was just he just got it was quicker feet because I've just literally brought him on as a sub and then um, Oli Clay gets it in for Skog and just reacted so much quicker than what Arsenal's like tiring defence now did and um, we are back in the lead again can we hold on to it this time corner ball Clay puts this one in trying to get open Meccano on that one not able to they know he's a threat Ahobi well it was right to leave him on wasn't I because he is just surely now giving us the FA Cup with a great strike I was debating wasn't I whether or not I should take him off and um, I'm now glad that um, I thought about it and um, kept him on great strike here from him yeah grabara has got to do better there hasn't he really and um, what I hit there and that is like giving us a 5-3 result at the moment so it looks like we're going to do it. We're into the 120th minute right now. They've got to get two goals. Can't see that happening as we've got control of the ball as well with uh, Martin Neto Back here to Dizwowski. Arsenal trying to like just get the ball off us and we're just keeping hold of it at the moment. Appleby plays it into Warner. Back to him is Appleby. Played it out here to Ollie Clay. Can he get the ball in or is he going to like keep hold of it? He's got it in and this time Charlie Lawrence has now completely and utterly sealed it. Arsenal have completely collapsed here in extra time. And we have managed to get ourselves a 6-3 result in the end. It looks more comfortable than what it was. Um, yeah, and if, if, you, if you're like a neutral or whatever and you just come in towards like, you know, the end of this like match, you'd be thinking like, you smashed Arsenal. Not to be. We did it in the first half of normal time. That was the only time. But, you know, there we are, guys. A domestic treble. What a season. What a season we are having. Incredible. And we still, still could even live like the big one the European like trophy as well we could even lift that as well like I say it looks like you know with the amount of shots and stuff that we had it, it should have been a lot more comfortable the scoreline says it but watching this it wasn't as comfortable as what it was like in the end but it was the right decision to leave Mark Ahobi on as you can see he's even picked up another match as well so there it is a famous treble yes we have done it we have won all the domestic trophies um, available to us and like I say in the next episode um, these guys are going to get like a few days off now rest and then we'll be traveling to manchester yes to play con liverpool in the champions league final wow and how, how is that one going to turn out well if it's anything like this one then i would recommend you tuning in guys because um we thought this was like a walk in the park in the first half didn't we and then it all like got a bit like sort of hairy but in the end a 6-3 result is is kind of flattering i suppose you'd say but um yeah we, we've come out on top and, and it's fantastic i wouldn't be like too disheartened if we didn't win the champions league to be fair we've won all these three i mean i'm not uh, the fact that we've even got to the final is incredible like you know what I mean in our first like you know 
um, attempt at the Champions League. We've got to straight through to the final is madness. But um, we know we can beat Liverpool, but we know that Liverpool can beat us, and they've beaten us more times than we've beaten them. Like you know, but um, who knows? Who knows how that one's going to turn out? I hope you can join me for that one for tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for all your comments and and you know like and your likes and your and your views and stuff on on the videos. I massively appreciate it, guys. Keep them coming, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's, which is going to be another thriller, I'm sure. And um, yeah, you take care. Dave from Mongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.